trust your first impression. What do you imagine is there? Look around you. What do you sense? It's night. It's night time. It's night time. Very good. Tell me more. I can hear the little bugs. Mm-hmm. What is this place? Where are you? What do you sense? I'm near home. Mm-hmm. You're near home. What are you doing away from home? I'm walking. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. The path is moist beneath my feet. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Well, let's focus on that path. What do you feel beneath your feet? What kind of terrain is this place? What do you feel underneath? Is it grass? It's a dirt path. It's a dirt path. Mm -hmm. So let's focus more on your body because you don't need to see where you're going there. As you Look at these feet. Are they small or large? What do they look like? They're bony. They're big. They're big. Mm -hmm. They're thin. They're thin. Are you male or female? I'm a male. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about how you look. What does the rest of you look like? I have long bones. Long bones. Mm -hmm. I'm quite tall. Mm -hmm. How many toes do you have? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. And what color is your skin? Like tan. Mm -hmm. Tan. Very good. What does the rest of you look like? Take a look at your hands. They're long. Mm -hmm. How many fingers do you see? Four. Mm -hmm. What else? I'm quite muscly, muscly, but, but, but thin. Mm -hmm. So you're a thin, muscular build. Mm -hmm. What about your face? There's not much nose. Not much nose. Oh, my eyes are large. Mm -hmm. Like almonds. Large almond eyes. What about your mouth? It's little. A little mouth. What is the shape of your head? I don't know. Mm. Do you have any hair? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is your hair? It's short. Mm -hmm. so let's find out where it is that you're going and where your home is. I'd like for you now to see yourself 
in the place where you live. Be there now. What does it look like? This is a hut. Mm -hmm. And it's got a thatched roof mm -hmm. with fronds on it. The door is tall. The door is tall? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the door made out of? It's got wood mm -hmm. and a cross beam, mm -hmm. and it's more more of that material mm -hmm. that the roof is made of. Mm -hmm. How do you open the door? How do you go in? It just pushes open. Okay, so let's go inside and see what's inside your home. It's simple. Mm -hmm. What's inside? There's a place to lay down. Mm -hmm. There's somewhere to sit. There's a table with a bench. Mm -hmm. As you're in this simple place, do you see, feel like as if somebody else lives with you, or do you live by yourself? I live by myself. Mm -hmm. And what do you call yourself? Do you have a name? Tendo. Tendo. Tendo, how old are you? Um, in my thirties. Mm -hmm. Where is this place that you live? What do you call it? Tendo, have you always lived in this place? Use your knowing. Use your memory. There's more in here. Tell me more. My parents died. Your parents died. I, I live alone now. Mm -hmm. What happened to your parents? They just got sick. They got sick. Did anybody else live in this area with you? I don't see anyone. All right, very good. So, Tendo, let's see what it is that you do while you're in this place, how you spend your time. I'd like for you to close this scene and now go to a time when you're doing what you do, mostly during the day or night. Be there now. Where are you? You're at the water. At the water? Mm hmm. What do you do at the water? I'm looking for something. Mm hmm. What do, what do you look for when you're at the water? Little things to eat. Mm hmm. There's like little bushes 
and I'm picking berries. Mm -hmm. Do you eat vegetation only? I think I eat little things in the sand. Mm -hmm. Are these live beings? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything bigger for you to eat? There's big animals in the woods, but we stay away from them. Mm -hmm. What do you feel from these big animals? They can harm me. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Have you ever been harmed by one? I've been chased. Mm -hmm. But I'm a good climber. You are. How do you climb? I can climb the trees very quickly. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other senses that you use for survival? I can smell them. Mm -hmm. Good. So, Tendo, let's leave that scene and let's go to an important scene in your life. Either going backwards or forwards, a time when something impacted your life that was important. Be there now. Where are you? Walking on that path. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's on that path. Is it nighttime? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens as you walk on that path. What do you sense? What do you feel? My heart is beating fast. My heart is being fast. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. But I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. You can tell me what happens. Allow yourself to continue. Tell me what happens next. I'm running. Mm -hmm. What are you sensing? I think I'm being chased. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Tell me everything that happens. I'm looking for vines to grab to. Mm -hmm. I'm running fast. Mm -hmm. In this place where you're running, what does it look like? It's nighttime. It's quite dark. Mm -hmm. Are you in the forest? Are you out in the open? I'm in the forest. Mm -hmm. What happens next, Tendo? I'm, I'm reaching for vines, mm -hmm. but I can't find any. Can you see well in the dark? No. Tell me everything that happens. I'm just running. Mm -hmm. What happens, Tendo? I grab some ropes, mm -hmm. vines, mm -hmm. and I'm climbing up, swinging mm -hmm. down the path, and 
in the forest now. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm still being chased. Mm-hmm. Do you hear anything or sense anything? I sense them. Mm-hmm. What do you feel is being is what's chasing you? What do you think it is? The big animals. The big animals. More than one? Yes. Mm-hmm. What kind of big animals are in the forest? They're like They're like tigers, but they're big. Mm-hmm. They're bigger. Mm-hmm. They have big teeth. Mm-hmm. I've fallen. I fall. I I'm falling. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you can detach yourself from that body and just watch what happens without any emotion. Tell me what happens. I fell. Mm-hmm. I fell and, and a piece of wood went through me. Mm-hmm. Where did that piece of wood go? Right through, through my stomach. Mm-hmm. What happens next? I can't move. Mm-hmm. I'm just laying there. The animals find you. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What happens to your spirit, your spell, your soul? I'm not there anymore. All right. So where are you now? I'm looking at me from above. Mm-hmm. And as you look back at that life, Tendo, what was the purpose of that life? be self-sufficient. Mm-hmm. What lessons did you learn? To be okay with myself. Mm-hmm. So now that you understand that that was your purpose and lesson, how are you taking that information with you? How are you going to apply that in another life. You have to know that it's okay to be alone. Mm-hmm. Were you lonely in that life? Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's continue on your journey and let's find out what happens after you leave that body. Where does your soul go? It's all white. It's all white. Mm -hmm. And silver light. Mm -hmm. What do you look like there? I don't have a body. Mm. I just my mind. Mm-hmm. So this place, what does it look like? I don't know. It feels good. It feels good. Mm-hmm. Are you alone in this place, or there are others with you? There are some people watching me. Mm-hmm. Who are these people? Connect with them. Mind to mind. They're my guards. Mm-hmm. How many do you do you feel? Oh, four. Mm-hmm. Do they say anything to you? No, but they're happy. Mm-hmm. Let's connect with those guides now so that you can speak with them telepathically, mind to mind, soul to soul. Let's see what conversation you have. What 
Why are they happy? They're happy to see me. Mm -hmm. Do they say anything to you? They're wondering what, how I liked that last life. Mm -hmm. I told them it was a little strange. Mm -hmm. What do they say back about that? They're laughing. Uh huh. That makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. Did you choose that life? Yes. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose that you chose it now that you are back? Why such a strange life? To experience something different. Mm -hmm. Where was this place? There's some other planet. Mm -hmm. Kind of remote. Mm -hmm. No one hardly goes there. So why did you venture there? Why so remote? To feel solitude. Mm -hmm. and loneliness. Is that something that you need to learn or experience? Yes. Mm -hmm. I need to appreciate people more. Mm -hmm. So what's the next step? Where are you going to go in order to appreciate people more? Is there any planning? They say I can choose. Mm -hmm. It's not important. I can stay there. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? What do you decide? I choose to stay there for a little while. Mm -hmm. What do you do while you're there? I learn. Mm -hmm. I like to learn. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how it is that you learn in this place. Would you take me to the place where you learn? crystals. Do they have a name for this place? It's where everything's kept. Mm. How is it that you learn from this? Do you learn from the crystals? Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you use these crystals? Your mind mm -hmm. and their mind are one. Mm -hmm. Do you connect your minds? Yes. Mm -hmm. The crystals contain different information? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you're learning today? you receive? It's just feelings. Mm -hmm. What kind of feelings are being generated by that crystal? Kindness. Kindness. Good. What type of crystal is it? Does it have a color or name? It's purple. A purple. Mm -hmm. Are these large crystals or small ones? Yeah, they're small. Mm -hmm. So as you learn kindness from this crystal, is there anything else you learn?
No. No. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to the planning phase of your next life. Where do you go to plan the next life? I'm in this round area. A round area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel round. Yes. Around. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with someone else? Oh, there there are beings there. Mm -hmm. Who do you imagine this place is? What happens in this place? They're just talking. Mm -hmm. I'm standing waiting. Mm -hmm. I'm just being here. What are they talking about? Go ahead and connect with them. And let me know what they say. They're wondering where I should go next. What would be best for me? Mm -hmm. And as you listen to this, how do you feel about these? These beings discussing this about you? Well... I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. Why is that? There's a lot of possibilities out there. Mm -hmm. I don't like some of them. Mm -hmm. What did they choose for you? What is the purpose of you needing to live another life? Connect with them and find out the reason. Is it in your best interest? They want to know. They want to know what I think about it. Mm -hmm. And I tell them I don't know. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel? It's okay. Mm -hmm. I have to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why do you have to go somewhere? To learn more. Ah. Uh -huh. So is this life progression about learning? I think so. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's find out. I'd like for you to now go to the point of that planning when you're now making a decision as to where you're going to go in the next life. And tell me if you have a say in it. Yes, the choice is mine. Mm -hmm. 
I can learn there. I can stay here and learn. Mm-hmm. So let's find out how it is that you made that choice, how you chose the family, how you chose the location. How does this happen? How do you choose the family? Sometimes you travel with people mm -hmm. and you have to stay close to them for a little while. Mm -hmm. They're like your family. Mm -hmm. Your soul family? Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you choose some of these that are going to accompany you on your journey? Some are already there. Ah. Some are in other places. But you know about them beforehand. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is the, the intention of this next life that you're planning now? I have to go help. Mm -hmm. What are you helping with? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Ask your guides. tell you. I need to go support some friends. Okay. Very some good. family. All right. All right. So let's close that scene now and let's see how it is that you get to this new family. What kind of transportation does your soul use to get to this family? How does your soul travel to them? I'm just there now. Mm -hmm. So look around you. Where are you? I'm in a hospital. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. A lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Who's there? I don't know. These people are strangers to me. Mm -hmm. How are they dressed? In the white robes. Mm -hmm. They're very tall and blue. They're, they're blue. They're blue? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I want to slab of rock. You want a slab of rock? I want a slab of rock. Mm -hmm. It's not very comfortable. Mm -hmm. What is the reason why you're on that slab? I died. Mm. No. The man died. I'm in the man's body now. Mm -hmm. I have to get out. Mm -hmm. So your soul is now in this man's body? Yes. Who had died there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this man alive now? With your soul? No, he's gone. Mm -hmm. What form do you have?
I have, I have taken his form. Mm -hmm. You've walked into his body? His dead body? Yes. All right. What do you look like in that body now? What does this man look like? I've got a beard. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What else do you look like? I'm blue. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your skin. Is your skin soft or? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. What does your face look like? Kind of like a. Kind of like a bird. Like a bird? Mm hmm. My eyes are pretty. Take a look at your hands. What do the hands look like? They're soft. Mm -hmm. They're gentle. Mm -hmm. Do you have fingers? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many fingers do you have? I have five. Mm -hmm. And look down at your feet. What do your feet look like? They're smooth. Mm -hmm. Anything unusual about your feet? No. No? They're blue. Blue. Good. Let's find out a little bit about this body that you've inhabited now. Why you have chosen to be in this body. What did you need to accomplish that you needed to take the body of, a, of an adult? There are some There's some people in my soul group here. Mm -hmm. I need to help them. All right. So let's find out how you're going to help your soul group. I'd like for you to close this scene. And now let's move forward to the time when you're with these individuals. Be there now. Where are you? These people aren't happy. What's happening? There's a group here that wants to control everybody. Mm -hmm. They can't see that they shouldn't do this. Mm -hmm. Who are these people? don't know. They're very mechanical. They're very unfeeling. Mm -hmm. Are they the same kind as you are? No. What do they look like? Kind of have triangle heads, mm -hmm. but smooth, rounded corners. 
What color are their heads? They're yellow. Mm-hmm. Tan yellow. Mm-hmm. What do the bodies look like? Well, their heads are big, but their bodies are small. Hmm. What are their intentions? They think everybody should do what they say. They don't have good heart. Mm-hmm. I don't think they know any better. Mm-hmm. They're kind of crude. Mm-hmm. In what way? Their mannerisms. Mm-hmm. The way they talk to one another. They're very brash. Mm-hmm. And your people? What are your people like? Gentle. Mm-hmm. And peaceful. But a lot of my people don't have have it in them to stand up against these people. Mm-hmm. So what makes you different now? Why have you come here to help them? They need a voice. Mm-hmm. Are you that voice? Yes. All right. So let's move forward in time and space to the moment when you are using that voice. Be there now. I'm in a big room. There's a lot of people here. Tell me more. They're arguing. Are you, are these the triangle head? Yes. Mm hmm. What do you do there? I'm trying to talk to them. Is it just one of you, or are there more of you? No, there's many of us. Mm -hmm. What do you tell them? I ask them why they can't live in peace. We're much bigger than they are. Mm -hmm. What do they say? They just, they just, they just don't get it. Mm -hmm. There's enough room for everybody. There's enough everything for everybody. They don't have to control everything. And be so greedy. Do these beings Control? They try to, yes. Mm -hmm. They have their fingers everywhere. They, they want to control everything. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. What, what is your civilization like? All of the trades. Mm -hmm. All the production, they want to own everything and control the people. Do you live in cities? Yes. Mm -hmm. So do they, do they control the cities? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not completely. It's not, it's not going to work. This is, they're not going to listen to me. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene and let's find out what happens next. What's the next important thing that happens? Where are you? I'm just talking to my own people. Mm -hmm. What do you tell them? 
have to let it go. And that just this is just the way it's going to be. How does that make you feel? Kind of sad. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are going to have to move now. Why is that? Well, you can be a slave or you can be in freedom. Mm -hmm. But there's a price to pay for each one. So what happens next? Well, we're going to leave. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? We leave this. We're leaving the city. Mm -hmm. But there's not a lot out there. Mm -hmm. There's more desolate, and there's people out there that can take advantage there too. Mm -hmm. So where do you go? We'll find a village to live in. Mm -hmm. How many are you? There's hundreds. Mm -hmm. Are you leading them? I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. What do you call yourself in that lifetime? Do they have a name for you? Yeshi. What is it? Yeshi. Yeshi? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens next, Yishi. Where do you go? We find a village that will have us. Mm -hmm. There's other people out there that left. They know. But we'll all just take care of each other. Mm -hmm. Are you leading them? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how is it that you make a living in this place? What do you do to feed yourselves and Keep yourself safe. We all just chip in. Mm -hmm. Do what needs to be done. Help each other out. Mm -hmm. And just live. Some people get food. And some people cook it. So everyone does their part? Yes. What do you do? What are your skills? They seem to come to me for advice. Mm -hmm. Good. So you should close that scene and I'd like for you now to go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. And tell me where you are. I'm laying in my house. Mm -hmm. I'm on my bed. I'm, I'm very old. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or are there others with you? Oh, there's a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. How do you feel with this crowd of people around you? I feel good. Mm -hmm. So as you look at all these people around you who love you, support you, what do you think you accomplish in that life? I came to help them. Mm -hmm. And I helped those who wanted to be helped. Mm -hmm. My time is done now. All right. So take your last breath there now. Allow your soul to leave that body. And as you do, you can see the entire perspective of it. 
You see it from a soul's purpose? Do you feel that you accomplished what you needed to accomplish? Yes. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn from that life? You must always be of service. Mm -hmm. You must always be of service. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you see, how is it that you are affecting the life of Christy? What is she here to learn from your life? There is purpose. Mm -hmm. Is she fulfilling her purpose? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell her what it is that she's doing to fulfill her purpose. What did she come here to do? To help people. Mm -hmm. But she seems to not be doing the same type of things that you did. You led a lot of people. What is she doing now? She's helping people. Mm -hmm. You don't always see the good you do. Mm -hmm. What kind of good has she done? She's very kind. Mm -hmm. She always gives and gives. But she worries too much. Mm -hmm. Tell her about that. What is that worry doing to her? It brings her energy down. Mm -hmm. And when her energy goes down, what is it? How does that affect her? Well, she can't help as many people. Mm -hmm. So as you're looking at her now in this state. At this time in her life. How is her vibration now? How is her energy? It could be better. Mm. What's keeping it from being better? What's holding her down? Only herself. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. She has to relax more, mm -hmm. learn to just sit and not worry. Well, she's done a meditation room for that. Yes, yeah, she doesn't use it very often. Mm. So what would you recommend for her to do? She says she takes walks around the lake. Yes. Mm -hmm. What can she do to raise her energy even more? To sit and be, mm -hmm. and understand that you don't have to be doing something all the time. The hardest part is just sitting. You sit on the couch. You can sit at the dining room table. And just sit. Mm -hmm. Even take a little guinea pig and put it on the lap and just pet it and just be. That's the wonderful thing of animals, isn't it? Yes. They teach us how to just be. Yes. Isn't that what they do all the time? Yes. Mm -hmm. They're okay with just being. Mm -hmm. So one of her questions was, what should I be doing? And you're basically telling her, just be. Just be. Be comfortable being. Not to worry. Everything is okay. But if her purpose is to help people, and you're telling her to just be, how can she help others if she's in seclusion? Oh, she's still helping people. Mm. And she holds space. And just breathing. 
and letting out the good energy affects everything around you, hmm. even the plants. So she needs to calm herself down, just be? Yes. And when she raises that vibration, it will affect all of those around her? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then she can take the next step. Is meditating important for her? Not like she thinks. Hmm. Would you tell her a little bit about that, please? She's so rigid when she does it, mm -hmm. just to relax. It doesn't have to be anywhere in particular. It could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just look within. It's all right there and within. So she's been looking without? She's been looking out to find the answers? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's just a little confused. Mm -hmm. But she's almost there. What is it that she's missing? She feels that something is missing. Yes. She needs to eat better. Mm -hmm. Now she told me she did a 40 day fast. Yes. But then she's back to eating stuff that isn't good for her. She doesn't quite know how to choose the right foods. She chooses the wrong ones. No, she knows. Mm -hmm. What's making her choose? Bad past habits. Mm -hmm. They need to be broken again. Mm -hmm. Is there anything influencing her into these habits? There's energies. Mm -hmm. How many of these energies are influencing the way she eats and drinks? There are three. Three. Which is the one that's causing the most... the most problems? Where is that one? Do a scan of her body and see where that one is. Seems to like to be in her. Seems to like to stay in her hips. Mm. Is that why she feels that tightness there? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you allow me to speak with this entity now to see how we can best serve him or her? Yes. All right. So I'm going to take my hands over that hip area and bring that energy up. Up, 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 and you can express yourself now. Are you male or female? Male. Male. Would you tell me your name, please? Roger. Roger. How old are you? Forty. Forty. And what year is it for you? 1936. Mm -hmm. Roger, how did you lose your body in 1936? What happened to you? I fell. Mm -hmm. How did you fall? Well, I lost my footing. Mm -hmm. What were you doing at the time? I was hiking. And what happened, Roger? Oh, I died. Mm -hmm. Did anybody find you? No. No. So how is it that you found Christy? I'm just wandering around. Mm -hmm. How old was she then? In her 20s. Mm -hmm. And what was going on her in her life at the time that made her so vulnerable for you to attach to her? Well, she was angry all the time. Mm -hmm. Were you angry? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nobody found you? No. Mm -hmm. 
So what have you been doing to her all this time? How has she been feeling you? She's been giving me the things I want. Mm, like what? Mm, food. Mm-hmm. Alcohol. Mm-hmm. What kind of foods do you like? I like burgers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, Christy doesn't want to eat meat. No. How do you make her eat meat? I give her that craving. Mm-hmm. What about drinking? What do you like to drink? Yeah, beer. Mm-hmm. Could you make her drink beer? Yes. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel, Roger? Uh, it feels good. Mm-hmm. Does it do anything for the evolution of your soul? No. It just satisfies your cravings? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, see, Roger, you weren't meant to just be there hanging out in this woman's body. You're meant to go back home to source. And in that light, everything is satisfied. Are you ready to go back today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Before we do, I want you to feel what it feels like to go back home because you seemed a little bit hesitant, like whether you should go or not. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, Roger, I want you to look inside of you, in the area of your heart. There's a little God spark there. This is the spark that created you. Find that spark for me. And tell me when you see it. I see it. Mm -hmm. Now I'd like for you to make that spark of light very big. Make it so big it takes over your entire being. And tell me, Roger, what it feels like. <clears throat> it's nice. Mm -hmm. This is what it's like to be back home. This is what source feels like. This love. Wouldn't it be nice to feel that more intensely? Yes. Yes. So what would you like to tell Christy about all of these things that you've been doing to her for all of these years? I'm sorry. All right. Take a deep breath in, Christy. Do you forgive Roger? For giving you these cravings, not knowing any better. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm, because you too walked into somebody's body yes. in a different life, so now you understand. And he wasn't, he didn't feel quite finished yet. So now, Roger, I'd like for you to go ahead and begin pulling all of your essence from her body, releasing from her hips. And Christy, I want you to go into that area of your hips and go ahead and cut away all of that attachment that Roger has to your hips. And now, Roger, are you ready to finally go home? I am. All right. I have a helper that helps me during this session. It's Archangel Michael. He's waiting for you to take you right back to source. Go ahead up through the top of her crown right here. And Archangel Michael is standing there, waiting for you. Tell me when you see him. Yes, I see him. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? He's brilliant. Mm -hmm. So he's going to accompany you now, straight to that light, back home to source. Tell me when you get there. I'm there. Anybody there to meet you? It's my family. Very good. Roger, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And now I'd like Archangel Raphael to step forward. He helps me with dissolving some of this in that area. So go ahead and put in that green light into her hips, sealing all of that area. Feel that green as it seals up all of that area where Roger 
was attached to. While he's doing that, let's do another scan of that body and see who else is there that needs assistance today. Tell me where they are. Where do you see a shadow, a movement? In the shoulder. In the shoulder. Which one? Left or right? In the left. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move my hand over that and bring that energy up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. Are you male or female? Female. Mm -hmm. What is your name, please? Tammy. Tammy. Tammy, how old are you? I'm seven. Tammy, what year is it for you? I don't know. Tammy, what happened to your body? I was killed. Who killed you? My dad. Your dad killed you. How did he kill you? He just got so angry at me. Mm hmm How did he kill you? What did he use to kill he you? He used his hands. Mm hmm Did he choke you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Tammy, what happened after you left that little body behind? Where did you go? Everywhere. Mm -hmm. And as you went everywhere, how did you find Christy? Well, she was nice. Mm -hmm. How old was she? Uh, I don't know. Was she big or little? She was little. Mm -hmm. Like you? Yes. Mm -hmm. What was happening to her that caused you to attach to her? She was afraid. Mm -hmm. What was she afraid of? Her mom. Mm -hmm. And you were afraid of your dad, weren't yes. you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it was a match, wasn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. What did you do to her all this time? How did she, she know you were there? What did you make her feel? I try to get her to not trust people. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because they're bad. Mm -hmm. And when she doesn't trust people, what does that do to her? What does it do to her life? Mm -hmm. She's like a little bug in a cocoon. Mm -hmm. She keeps away from everybody. Yes. She hides. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I would think if, Tammy, you were so afraid of your dad, that you'd be afraid of people, wouldn't you? Yes. Do you need to be afraid anymore? You don't know, do you? No. Mm -hmm. Because you see, Tammy, the reason why you're feeling that way is that you've lost your connection with Source with the creator that made you, that made your soul. But that has been in your heart this whole time and you haven't even noticed it. There's a little spark of light there that connects you with your source. Find that light, Tammy, and make it bigger. Expand that light out, make it bigger and bigger until it takes over your whole being. How does that feel? It's so warm. Mm -hmm. Feel the love that comes with that warmth. When you're in this love, this warmth, is there anything to be afraid of? No. No. So now that you're feeling this way, I'd like for you now to go back in time and look at your dad in the eyes and I'd like for you to tell me what was the reason why you had to live that life with him how did you know each other from before Why did you need that experience, Tammy? To 
did you know him from before? Yes. What did you do in a different lifetime together? You were bad people. Mm. What did you do? I killed him. You did. So did you make an agreement with him in that lifetime? Yes. That you would feel the same? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive him now for yes. taking your life? Yes. All right. Now, would you like to ask Christy for forgiveness for making her so afraid of being out of her cocoon? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, Christy. Do you forgive this child for not knowing any better? For yes. being so scared? Very good. So we're going to send her off now with light and love. Tammy, I'd like for you to go ahead and detach yourself from her shoulder. And Christy, go inside and make sure you cut away any attachment that you see. And tell me when you're done. It's gone. Very good. So now Tammy go up through the top of her head. Archangel Michael is right there, ready to take you home. Tell me when you see him. I see him. Very good. Take him by the hand and he's going to take you straight to that light of source. And when you get there, let me know if someone welcomes you. Only my dad. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your dad now? I love him. Very good. Give him a big hug. Tam, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. So now let's put that green light into that shoulder. Sealing it. Transforming it back into its natural state of health. And now as we're doing that, scan your body and see who else we have there. Where do you feel the shadow or the movement? Where do you feel something? body should be completely white in light. It's the right hand. The right hand. Very good. So let's move that energy up, 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 and you can express yourself now. Are you male or female? Male. Male. What is your name, please? Todd. Todd. How old are you, Todd? I'm 17. 17. What year is it, Todd? 1969. Mm -hmm. Todd, what happened to you? How did you lose your body? I got ran over. You got ran over? I was hitchhiking. Mm hmm. What happened? I died. Mm hmm. What part of your body was hit? My hips. Mm -hmm. So, Todd, what have you been doing to her all this time? I've just been hanging out. Mm -hmm. Do you do anything to her? Make her feel anything? Not really. I just watch. Mm -hmm. What are you watching? I watch everything. Mm -hmm. And when you watch, what do you do? I think a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you make her think a lot? Yes. What do you make her think about? I can just tell this is such a curious place. Mm -hmm. What else? The 
she take any action because of what you tell her? No, I mostly just hang out. You hang out. Do you give her body any symptoms? Some pain. Sometimes some pain. Mm -hmm. Where do you give her the pain? In her hips. In her hips. Okay. Todd, why didn't you go home after you died? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Were you confused as to where you needed to go? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I could tell you today. Are you ready to go home today? I guess so. Mm, that doesn't sound very convincing. Well, it's comfortable here. Mm, I could find a more comfortable place. Okay. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is look inside your heart and find that light. Tell me when you see it. I see it. Now make it really big, Todd. Make that light so big. You feel like the stars. And tell me how that feels. That feels good. Mm -hmm. Better than hanging out with Christy? Yes. Yes. So is it time for you now? To go home, Todd? Yes. All right. Go ahead and gather all of your energy from her hips. And what would you like to tell Christy? Sorry if I caused any problems. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, Christy. What would you like to tell Todd? Do you forgive him for that? Yes, mm -hmm. it's okay. All right. Let's send him home with light and love. Make sure that everything has been disconnected from your hips from your hands. Got everything away. And now Todd, go up through the crown of her head right here. And Archangel Michael will take you straight to source. Straight to that light. That love that you're feeling. And tell me when you get there. You're there. Very good. Is there anyone to welcome you there? My friends and mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. They missed you, didn't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. Give them a big hug. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now let's bring in that green light. Archangel Raphael. Let's put that green light throughout your ent entire body now, filling you completely from head to toe. Feel the sensation. You may even feel it like a little cooling sensation throughout your body, sealing it up. And now that we have the body taken care of, why is Christy sleeping in later now? What's happening with her body that she needs more sleep? She used to be a morning person. Wrong foods. Mm. So what would happen if she starts eating the right foods again? She'll go back to her pattern. Mm -hmm. Be happier. Okay. And what about her drinking now? When we found out that she had an entity that liked to drink, Roger, would you tell her about the drinking? She won't feel the need anymore. Okay, she won't get the cravings? No. Because mm -hmm. she's tried to stop. She doesn't want to. She doesn't even like to. Okay, so that was Roger giving her the craving? Mostly, yes. Mm -hmm. And just bad habits. Okay, good. Good. So another question that we have is about um, what happened in that tunnel. She was going at a very fast speed. The traffic stopped, and within a split second, she was on the other lane. What happened? It's not time for her to leave now. Mm. Did she get any type of divine intervention there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you show her in slow motion 
what happened. Who was there to help her? It was Michael. Mm -hmm. What happened? What did he do? He moved there. Hmm. He slowed time down. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So now she's questioning about the chemtrails. She says that she, when she sees chemtrails, she transforms them into love and kindness. Mm -hmm. Would you tell her what it is that she's actually doing? Yeah, you can transform anything into love and kindness. Mm -hmm. I shower it down upon all the people mm -hmm. and the animals. Why do the animals love her so much? They see her. Mm -hmm. Animals know. What do they see in her? Well, her goodness. Mm -hmm. It shines all around her. And they're just magnetically drawn to her. Mm -hmm. She's very protective of animals in past lives. She's very protective in general. Mm -hmm. So beginning from this day forward, she won't need to eat them anymore? No. Mm -hmm. Do the animals know that? that someone eats meat. Yes. Mm -hmm. How does that affect them? It makes them wary. Mm -hmm. Animals can smell. They sense. Mm -hmm. Do they smell it from our pores? Yes. Mm -hmm. Our whole body gives off the smell. Mm -hmm. Of a dead animal? Yes. Mm -hmm. Horses in particular. Hmm. What happens when an animal smells a meat eater? Oh, it doesn't smell good. Mm -hmm. What do they, what do they feel? What do they sense? Most animals don't like it. Mm -hmm. There are some that eat meat, like the cat. Mm -hmm. and the cats don't really care. Mm -hmm. But if it's an animal that eats grass, they're wary of people who eat meat. They don't like it as much. Mm -hmm. A dog won't dislike his owner because he eats meat, but it would smell better if he didn't. Okay, good. Now she tells me that she's had issues with her neck her whole life. Her brother has it, the father has it. What's going on with the neck? That comes from many past lives. Mm -hmm. What's happened there? They take on the burdens of other people. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. All right. So what is this this weight that she's carrying around, This, this uh, these burdens? What do they look like? They're heavy. Mm -hmm. They're very dense. Mm -hmm. They pull her down. All right. Do they have a color? They're dark. Mm -hmm. Very dark. And where are they attached to? On her shoulders and neck. All right. So can we begin today? to release all of those burdens. Yes. All right. So what would we like to do with these? We can transform them. We can dissolve them. What would we like to do with these burdens from all of these lifetimes? Dissolve them. All right. So what would you like to use to dissolve it? We can use some light. We can use water. What would you like to use? A laser? Bright droplets of water. All right. 
So let's begin resolving them. And begin showering them down until they're completely gone. And as you do that, all of those lifetimes that carry those burdens will be experiencing the same thing simultaneously. You tell me when it's done. It is done. Very good. So and I'd, I'd like for her to connect with the higher selves of her brother and her father who are also carrying these burdens. And I'd like for her to telepathically connect with them and show them how to do the same for themselves. And if they give her permission, she can also wash them away for them. What do they choose? They will let go. Very good. So go ahead and begin showering them. Seeing their bundles dissolve, not only in this lifetime, but all the others that are living simultaneously. And tell me what that does to the family once this is now all dissolved. Seems to be a lot of burdens, no? Everything's more in accord now. Wonderful. Very good. She also told me that her hand gets numb. What's causing that? Yes, the burdens. The burdens. How does the hand look now? It will take time to heal. Mm -hmm. Good. I'd like to request for Archangel Raphael to go ahead and continue working with her, illuminating that hand. And also I'd like to ask for the non-physical physicians to work with her, keeping her body from head to toe intact, healthy, giving her ideas on the best foods to eat, the best things to drink, to keep her body at optimal health. Is that okay? Yes. Very good. Now I know that she came here without much expectations. I'd like to ask, what is the reason you brought here, Christy here to me today? That everything's okay. Mm -hmm. Not to... Don't worry so much. Mm -hmm. She's doing much better.
She just needs to stay focused. Mm -hmm. So can I ask for a guide on her behalf to help her keep her mind focused yes. on the task at hand? Yes. Very good. Anything else you would like to tell her today before we complete? We are complete. Very good. Thank you very much. Feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Thank you. Wow. Oh, my body's vibrating. Ah, yes, it does. That's what it does. I'm going to switch that shungite for that for shungite. Let me get you some. Yeah. Unbelievable, huh? Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. That was pretty cool. How do you feel? How do your hips feel? I feel good. And your shoulders? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I remember a blue body. Yeah. You were walking into that body. That body had died and you took over. Your That's soul, weird. You your soul <laughs> took over that body. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, both of them were extraterrestrial lives. I guess so, yeah. I didn't look human. No. No. Either of them. No. The blue one, I, I thought I had a beard, but actually it wasn't a beard. It was feathers. Mm. It was, there were feathers on me. So you, I had smooth skin, but feathers. But they were feathers. They were smooth, though. It looked like it, like it was skin, but it was fe it was fine it was feathers. feathers. Yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> but your feet and your hands looked normal. They weren't. They weren't yeah, normal, right? they were. They weren't like human feet, but they weren't like I don't know. It's not normal. It, they weren't. Um, they weren't. They weren't like they weren't like chicken feet or anything like that. Isn't yeah, that amazing. Yeah, the diversity of like. Did you have anything on your on the top of your head or anything? No, it was just it was feathers. feathers. Yeah. Were they big feathers or anything? No, no, they were they were quite small and just flowed back. Isn't that funny? Because right now you're you're wearing blue. Hair. You know, I like dyed this yesterday. I, 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 I was you did. kind of bored, and yeah. I'm like, well, I'll go to yeah. Sally, and you know, just yeah. have some fun well, with I, my hair. I thought that's what happened when I was when when you were saying you were blue and you were uh, bird like. I looked at your hair and I went, mm, I knew. It. Yeah, I that's knew a little it. weird because I've never colored my hair <laughs> in but, my life. But you picked blue. Yeah, you which is even hair. more bizarre, isn't it? It's really it's weird. It's almost like you knew. Yeah, maybe. It may, or something was about to, you yeah. know, tell and me something. It couldn't have gotten any darker, you know, but I'm sure it was a different kind of blue. It, was it this color? No. It was a, it was a darker, darker blue. blue. Yeah, yeah, it was a darker blue. Amazing. It was weird. You like this session? Yeah, it was, was it really worth? neat. Yeah, 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 of course. Is this something you want to share? Sure. Yeah. I think there was nothing really that personal in it. I mean, we just basically no, had two I past don't... lives and the entities. The entities were kind of interesting. Yeah, that Roger little giving, kid. He had ta ta uh, Tammy who got strangled by her dad, and we found out that her dad and her kind of had reverse roles in a different life. She kind of yeah, it was she kind killed of sad. him, and now he killed her. Yeah. And Todd was just kind of hanging out. Todd he was, was hanging out. He was, he was, was like, uh, felt like these like just chilled vibes Spaced were like just like a, yeah like like maybe he was a hippie stoner or yeah, something yeah. from the 60s or i mean that's kind of the <laughs> i was yeah. A, yeah he was just kind of inter uh, interested in what uh, you were doing yeah i could i could al almost picture him in my mind when he was talking you know you, like when you hear somebody on the phone you kind of try to picture yes. what they look like yeah yeah I could, you picture him as I, I, a guy thin you know kind of scruffy yeah. <laughs> Yeah. hippie -ish, you know. And so now that your purpose is here to help people, but you don't even have to be doing much. That's basically, you came here pretty much to just be and send out your energy. To be, yeah, yeah send out my does energy. That, does that make sense? It does, it does. Because I, I really feel the importance mm -hmm. of just being mm -hmm. and not have to be always doing. Doing for me is like a huge distraction mm -hmm. when I'm busying myself at home running around yeah. I'm just distracting myself from being yeah and, and it's and, uncomfortable and you were told just grab the guinea pig and, and play and just just sit just sit with with one of the 
one of your little yes. critters and, and, and just... That's kind of hard for me because I'm like... love. Yes. Yeah. But you but you had the intention. You, you went there to build a meditation. You built a meditation room, which you're not using. Not very often anymore, I know. Right? No. Yeah. So you're, you're really you're being told you don't even have to meditate. You just have to be. Just be yeah. still. Yeah. Yeah, just it's like... The they, just sit on the... Just be. You could just be looking out at the horizon. Yes. Yeah, that is a meditation. It is. Just to be. And most people don't realize that that's so important. That when you're just being like that, you're really flowing your energy out. Oh, I think that's it, really, isn't it? When you're busy being distracted all the time and, and flighty and just your mind's here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. You're not grounded. You're not centered. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, I know what it feels like just to stand on my grass yeah. and let my feet, you know, feel Mother Earth mm -hmm. and the energy, mm -hmm. or to stare at, you know, gaze at the sun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know how good all of that feels. You know, mm -hmm. I can't physically sense any ions or anything. You know, body. It it's just an in, inner calming. That's all we need to do. Mm -hmm. And that's the energy that you send out that's affecting people. You know, when I asked, you know, just by being there, are you doing anything to help? Yeah, you are. Yeah. You're sending that calmness out. You're looking at the chemtrails and transforming them into into kindness and yes. love, you know, and showering that yeah. on top of people. I mean, that's all I can do. I, I mm -hmm. you know, I have well, no... If more people did that, wouldn't that be nice? Well, definitely. And we all have the ability to do that. Yeah. So instead of raising your fist up there and saying, dang, nab it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, there's a time to fight, and most fighting is with ourselves anyway, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a time just to, to accept and relax and be. Mm -hmm. and Good. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. Well, here we are. Yes. yes. Oh, my gosh. So that was an interesting session, wasn't it? Well, yeah. And even when I was using the loo, I, I was like, more things from it came back so to what, me. So what, what, like, what was coming to you? Uh, just that life, um, uh, I think it was the first one, yeah. where um, I was alone. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. <clears throat> then there's some animal or something was chasing me. Yes. I, 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 I you felt said, it. I, yeah. I was like, oh. Wow. Yeah, it was weird. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you you were there really to learn to be, to learn to be alone. and To be alone. Mm -hmm. I had the impression that, but it's kind of hard to explain. It's weird. I got mm -hmm. the expression uh, um, impression that, yes, it's okay to be alone, mm -hmm. to be comfortable within yourself. Mm -hmm. And you can do that whether you're with people, mm -hmm. know people, yes. that it's that it's okay. Mm -hmm. And that's how you're living now. It is. Yep. That's how I'm living now. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it makes sense it why does. you were shown that. And then the second one is this blue being. <laughs> blue being, exactly, yeah. It was tall and thin and very, like both bodies were very, like I was very strong. Muscular yeah, but strong. But, yeah, lanky but very mm -hmm. uh, adept, agile. It was like kind of like the movie, um, what was that movie out where he was, they were blue in it, um, mm -hmm. Avatar? Yeah. It was kind of like that. But he was a, he was a bird. Who was? You were. You were like Oh, a, yeah, yeah. I had like bird features. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Different. Yeah. Now, have you ever heard of the blue avians? Only from your videos. Mm, you haven't seen what it looks like. No, huh? Oh, well, well, she'll see what it looks like now. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so, did you get what you wanted to get out of this? Because you came without expectations, right? I had no questions, did I? No. I no questions. And there's my I had... cat moving. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that some flowed, and, it, and, and it, I it, figured it, some out. And um, I mean, I had some formulated yeah. before I came, and I actually had a few written down, but I thought, these are just like curiosity like mm -hmm. my own and I, I tossed them uh -huh. thinking this is ridiculous whatever I need will come will, will be shown or yeah. given to me and but stuff, we had so. to break when you come here you have to have questions because yeah, you questions have to have a map I have to have a road map to 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 do this so mm -hmm. yeah but it was really good so how far did you travel I flew in from Guadalajara, Mexico. There you go. So she came all the way from Mexico here to see me. And right. uh, was it worth it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I have no fears. 
It's all good. Do you recommend it to everybody out there? I totally do. Yeah, <laughs> well worth it. Well worth it. And I'll, I'll be back probably. Yeah, it'd be yeah. cool. Yeah, we call to see a, a continuation to see what we find out next. See what other colors my yeah being has been. <laughs> because it seems like you were ba mostly extraterrestrial. Yeah. It feels like that, yeah, right? Yeah. That's how I feel it. That, that yeah, I wasn't human. No. Definitely wasn't human. No. And I, I, I didn't have human, like, I didn't, yeah, I wasn't mm -hmm. human at all. And do you feel human? I mean, I, I, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it, does it? No, because, <laughs> you know, I, it's who you're I different, are, right? We're different, yeah. Yeah, I you're feel different. very different compared to that, too, especially. Yes, yeah. yes. So you were shown those two lies to show you that, hey, you've had extraterrestrial lives. The, the, the walk-in thing was the most fascinating thing to me, though, that you saw this man on the slab, and boom, you're in there. Yeah, I was expecting to be born as a baby, right? This is what we do. This is normality. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we think. <laughs> But in this case, he died and you came right I in. I was just there, yeah. already fully grown. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That was cool. That's great. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my cat is moving the camera. If you would like a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Uh, go to the Out of Town page. There will be a sign up for a newsletter. And that's the only way to get a session with me. I send out a newsletter about once a month. It tells you where my calendar is open for whatever city I'm going to. If you get it, click on that link immediately. They get booked within minutes. Immediately. Immediately. Don't. It took me six months, but you moved it up two months. Yes, I did. Because I do, I do shift things around depending on what's happening in my life. So, mm -hmm. yeah, don't make your reservations too early because I do shift things around. But thank you for watching this. And I enjoy this like I do all of them, obviously. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, thank you.